just another stitch. For those that don't know me, my name is Connie, and if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. And if you are new, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know how you found out about my channel, and let me know a little bit about yourself so I can start to get to know you better. Well, today's video is Crochet Tuesday, and I know I'm a few days late. I'm so sorry about it, but this week just kind of got away from me, and unfortunately, there's times that I am late on getting my videos out. But anyway, let's get started on the video. Let me show y'all the progress I made on my temperature blanket. This past week, it averaged in the 50s, so I did three rows for the past week. And after this, I only have one more week left of rows to do so just three more rows and this blanket is done finally i'm so excited i just can't hide it <laughs> okay i know y'all don't want to hear me sing <laughs> but anyway i will be starting on my next temperature blanket but first i'm going to let y'all see a, a better picture of this blanket with frank holding it up so take it away frank the progress on my temperature blanket and like I said it is almost finished but speaking of temperature blankets I am doing a, a temperature blanket challenge for 2022 so I did do a video about the challenge and explaining what temperature blankets are so if y'all haven't checked out that video go check it out I'd love you to be a part of the challenge to make, make a temperature blanket. And basically with the temperature blankets, they start the first of the year and it ends the last day of the year. And, and basically those that complete a, a temperature blanket for 2022 and they send me a, a picture of it, then they would get entered into a giveaway and I'd pick a person at random and then they would win a prize for me. So, yeah, let me know if y'all are interested in doing a temperature blanket this, this coming year. Okay, next I want to show you the progress on my peppermint blanket, which is still coming along slowly. I have two more peppermints done on it. And then I stored it another peppermint. And, let's see. See, these are my peppermints that I already have done. So this is how my blanket's coming along. Hopefully soon I will finally get this blanket finished, but I, I still have a little more than halfway to go. Well, I'm probably about a fourth of the way done realistically, but, but yeah. I'm working on it so eventually it will get finished so I'm curious what are you cr currently crocheting let me know in the comments down below okay so I got some more happy mail some more Christmas cords and the first one is from Melanie Titus and let me show you that cord it has a meow meow on the front and y'all know I love kitty cats and it's so cute and inside it reads Connie Frank Allie and Sophie may the signs and sound oh I'm sorry may the sights and sounds of Christmas warm your heart and comfort your soul Merry Christmas and Melanie wrote I hope you have the best of holidays and the brightest of New Year's I've just started making stick stitch markers and wanted to share one with you Melanie and I'm going to show y'all the beautiful stitch marker she made, if I can get it. Okay, there it goes. Hopefully y'all can see how beautiful it, it is. But thank you so much, Melanie, for the cord and the stitch marker. I love it, and thank you for thinking of me. And now I'm going to show you the next cord that I got from Linnea with Linnea's Cozy Crafts. And this Christmas cord is really unique. 
and I, I don't know I just thought this was so cool it's a diamond painting painted Christmas court and it has Merry Christmas isn't that cute and oh let me show you on the back too it has a little sign that says North Pole and the card reads, Connie and Frank the Biscuit, Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year to you both. Love, Mr. Cozy Crafts and Linnea. Thank you so much, Linnea. I really love this card. It, it's, you know, it's unique and it's different and it's so cute. And thank you, too, for thinking of me. So now let's get into the announcements of this video. Okay. I want to let everybody know that on Friday I'm going to be making a video that will show the prizes that's been donated from my monetization party and my monetization party is January 2nd which is a Sunday at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time so I hope y'all can make that party but yeah I'm gonna tell y'all what prizes are being offered and then, like the prizes that are, are yarn and things like that, I will, sh I will show y'all pictures of those prizes so y'all can see what, you know, what's going to be offered for the prizes on Sunday. And also, if anyone is interested in donating a prize for the party, just let me know. Y'all can send me an email at justanotherstitch2020 at gmail.com. And anything, you know, any prizes donated would be greatly appreciated. But again, I don't want anyone to feel like they have to. It's only if you can and you want to. And then also on Saturday, I will be going live at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I won't just have one guest store. I'm going to have two guest stores. I'm going to have both Cindy with Pups and Crochet and Lisa with Coping with Yarn. And I'm going to be going live at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time Saturday. So I hope y'all can make that live. And another thing I'm going to be doing on uh, New Year's too, I'm going to be doing a video letting y'all know about my goals when it comes to 2022 with, you know, what I want to learn or, or or make or projects that I want to make for 2022 and and I also hope that in the comments on that video y'all share with me y'all goals but anyway um so there's those things oh yes Jan January 15th I will be doing another finished projects video so make sure y'all get y'all pictures in if y'all want to be included in that video and also the snow video will be towards the end of February. So if it's snowing in your area, take pictures of that, that snow, um, you know, like the beautiful nature pictures. If you live in the mountains, you can take pictures of the snow in the mountains, you know, snowmen, and also making snow angels is another thing you can send pictures of. Now, the only thing I ask is please don't include pictures of children because YouTube won't let me post pictures of other people's children. But I think that's all I have for the announcements. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something, though. But I don't know. I kind of always feel like I'm forgetting something. But anyway, let's get into cat news. today well unfortunately Sophie still hasn't come back home and today makes I think day 12 that she's been missing so it's it's not looking good that she's gonna return home um, I, I, I'm still holding out hope but I'm, I miss my love bug but anyway let's get into Allie now Allie, you know, a Allie likes finding her little spots, and, she, and for the most part, she just chills and sleeps. 
And if you go up to her and you pet her head or her, her under her neck, she, she loves that. But the other day, couldn't find Allie. And a Allie is a type that likes finding new little spots. And she's a hider, too. So look, looking for Allie. And then I finally discovered she found her a new little spot. And I'm going to let y'all see a picture of her enjoying herself in her spot. I know, she looks grumpy in the picture. But I think it was because she was just waking up. But but she does have a tendency in pictures to, to look grumpy. <laughs> but she's been in good spirits lately. She hasn't been hissing or growling. So, you know. But anyway, that's about it going on with, with the cats. So, I hope everyone is having a fabulous yarny day. Be the light and bye!